Hello everybody and welcome to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Hey, check it out. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a shared folder on a network, okay? So that you can reach files on a computer from another computer. All right? Check it out. So, I'm running Windows 7 on my main host machine here, okay? This is super super easy to do. You just got to get into your file explorer whether you come down here to your you know file explorer your manila folders down here or start and computer can also bring you up to it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pop over to our C drive alright once we get in our C drive that's our root drive we're gonna create a folder that we're gonna share now you don't have to share your folder from your C drive you can do it from another drive like I have a backup drive here um, but I'm just gonna do it from the C drive so let's go ahead and create a folder. We can click on new folder up at the top. I'm just going to call it test folder. All right, so there's my folder. And let's go ahead and just drop something in here. I'm just going to move that file in there, all right? So we can see there's a file in this, this folder. Now we're going to share this folder over the network. Okay, to do so, you just right click on that folder that you want to share. Properties. Come up to the sharing tab. And don't click share, we're actually gonna do advanced sharing, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and check share this folder. Share name, just leave it as test folder, you can call it whatever you want, but I mean, it makes sense just to keep the name of the folder. Now this is important, pay attention to permissions. Okay, I'm on a home network, so I'm cool if everyone can access this folder. So I'm gonna say everyone and allow, okay? If I'm on like a domain or whatever, I can add or remove people and give them different privileges, but we're just going to give everybody permissions. All right, so let's apply that and hit OK. Apply and OK. Now check it out. This folder is now shared. Here's my network path. Okay, so now let's test it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Windows 10 machine here I have on the network. It's a virtual machine. Okay. But let's go ahead and pop over to, let's say I'm on my other computer. And I want to access this shared folder. There's a multi multiplicity of different ways we can do it. We can use it using an IP address. Or we can just use that exact network path and type it in right here. Or we can go over down to network and wait for it to populate. Find that computer on the network and check it out. Here's that shared folder. Bam. And there's my file that I put into it. So I'm accessing that file on another computer from the one I hosted it from. Makes it nice when you're at home and you have a home network and you just want to share folders to the whole family. Or if you're at work, of course, these are used all the time. If you have a file server, you have folders that are shared out. Um, you can even share an entire drive out over a network. But you can see how I did that. So let's look at the different methods I can access this. I can just go whack whack. I can type it out. Like I said, I don't have to um, go to the network icon over on the left. I can just type in that exact path that I get from over here. Okay, I can just type that in. Now, sometimes it's better to actually use an IP address because for some reason Windows is stupid and is a pain in the butt, especially when you're trying to share a folder over a network and you're using different operating systems to access it. I've had problems. So you can find out your IP address. Don't mind my caps locks. And just punch in the IP address as well. Okay, for example, instead of the computer name, punch in that IP address. I can't type today. You can see I've already done that. Test folder. Bam, that gets me right in the exact same spot. Okay. Sometimes the IP address is a more stable thing to use, especially if you are in a work environment and you have a server set up with a static IP address. That will always be the same. DNS will never break or anything stupid won't happen. So boom, there you have it, you guys. That's how you share a folder over a network. Duper easy. And like I say, and you can also share an entire drive. Like I can share this entire backup drive. Watch this. Two terabyte backup drive, properties, sharing advanced sharing share this drive they call it folder permissions let's just give everyone permission on my network 
All right, sounds great. Apply. Okay. Bam, it's shared. Let's go ahead and refresh my network. Look at that. I have an entire drive shared out over the network. Okay. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Hey, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you if you want to know how to share a folder. Duper easy. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or if you're having a hard time accessing this file over the network, feel free to shoot me a comment down below and I'll try to help you to get that to work for you. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Have a great night.